Hanging on the ceiling of the Thirsk Museum is a stoop chair. From the outside perspective, it appears to be a regular old chair. In actuality, it has a very twisted and dark history associated with it. So dark that per the owner's request, the museum never allowed anyone to sit on this chair. So how did this chair come about? It first belonged to a man by the name of Thomas Busby in the 1600s. Busby's reputation wasn't all too great, as he was known to be a thief and a thug. He met a man by the name of Daniel Oweti, and pretty soon they both became partners in crime. As time progressed, the relationship between them became very toxic, though the reason for it wasn't clear. Some have speculated that they argued a lot over business and money-related matters. On one particular day, Busby returned to his place, and when he saw Oweti sitting on his favorite chair, he was enraged at the sight and immediately forced him off his chair and out of his premises. His rage was so great that when the evening approached, he grabbed a hammer and went to Oweti's place to bludgeon him to death. Immediately after killing him, he threw his body in the woods. When the townspeople noticed Oweti's absence, everyone immediately scrambled to find him. Once they found the body, Busby was arrested and charged for murder. In 1702, he was sentenced to death by hanging. Before being killed, Busby was allowed to visit his place and sit on his favorite chair to have one last drink. When it was time for him to get going, he cursed the chair and said that anyone who sat on this chair would immediately die afterwards. Eerily, anyone who sat on the chair died in a horrific or mysterious manner. The first victim was a chimney sweep man who sat on the chair in 1894. That night, he slept near the road, only to have been found dead in the morning, hanging from a post. During World War II, the pub was a popular place for airmen who dared one another to sit on the chair. Those who sat on the chair never returned from missions that they embarked on. Another incident occurred when two airmen sat on the chair after daring each other, and when they were both on their way to return to the airfield, their car crashed into a tree, and both of them died. There are numerous other accounts of this chair being responsible for the fatal accidents of motorists, cyclists, builders, and hitchhikers. One cleaning lady developed a tumor, while a man had a heart attack. A builder took the dare of sitting in the chair, only to then fall from a roof. The new owner, Tony Earnshaw, was through with this and hid the chair in a cellar. When a delivery man visited, he sat down on the chair. Shortly after, he died when his van went off the road. This was the final straw for Earnshaw, and he donated his chair to the Thirsk Museum in 1978. To this day, the chair is placed towards the ceiling and out of reach from visitors. What do you all think of this? Were all these deaths just a pure coincidence? Or does this chair really have a curse attached to it? Let me know in the comments below and please like, share, and subscribe for more content.